Well, I'm no longer just the manager of the diner. I'm the boss of the whole place. It feels weird, honestly. Having to make all the decisions and knowing that Pop isn't there to help or guide me. It's a really odd thing. And before the video begins, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. I very much appreciate it. Well, it's day two of being the boss of the diner and... Well, I haven't screwed up just yet. I really hope I don't. I'm pretty stressed and I tend to crack when I get stressed and end up doing something stupid. So hopefully I don't. But for now, I haven't screwed up and that's nice. It's weird not having Pop here. He'd just be sitting in that chair, drinking his morning coffee and then his evening coffee. <laughs> uh, I just, I don't know. He's never gone. He's never been gone two days without coming into the diner. Even when he's sick, <laughs> he wears that stupid sick mask. That face mask. He said that that's what the people at the retirement home said that he should wear. And they recommended it. He's not at the retirement home just yet, but... Gosh darn it, he might be soon. I don't know. With him getting old and fragile and falling like this, it's just... I don't know. A matter of time, I guess. It's scary just to even think and say out loud. It's nice to be able to just think my thoughts out loud. I couldn't really do it when Pop was here. I'd probably look like a crazy person, but right now I can I can talk to myself and just just get it out. Just get the thoughts out and just breathe. I just I need to stop acting like Pop is dead. Sure, he might go to the retirement home, but he is not dead. He's fine. And it's just needing to rest. He'll probably even come in soon. I, I know he will. Even if he isn't the boss, he'll he'll stub he'll still come to the diner. I mean, it's called Pops for Christ's sake, so I'm sure he definitely wants to come and see how things are going with him not here. Two days in a row, that's the most he's ever missed, like ever that I can think of. Other than that one surgery he had a couple of years ago, but I don't know. I need to stop overthinking things and I've I've said my part. I'm going to get to work and uh, just get to work on that paperwork that still needs to be done. I may even stay late to finish it up unless the wife is wanting to order pizza tonight, which I think she said she might. <laughs> That'd be really good. Uh, then I'll save some paperwork for tomorrow. Because pizza, yeah, pizza really sounds good right now. Take my mind off of all this stress. <sighs> now let's get to that paperwork. Uh, yes, come on in. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not quite sure who you are. Uh, how may I help you? It's very nice to meet you. My name is Mrs. Amy. Your last name is Amy? <laughs> yes. I have two first names, but for the time being, you can call me Mrs. Amy. Okay. Staying professional. I, I respect that. Well, I'm Mr. Burt. Uh, how can I help you? Well, I work as the general manager and overseer of all things business at the cinema next door, and was wondering if you'd be interested in a business proposal? One that would benefit both of us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I told you my name, Mr. Burt. Have you encountered that name before? Does that name ring any bells, Miss Amy? Um, not that I know of. Care to explain what you mean? You started your job, oh, what was it, a couple of months ago, yes? That's correct. Well, what brought you into Sandy Springs for the general manager position? Well, corporate didn't like the way the GM before me was running things, so they brought me in to raise the numbers. Hmm. Well, um, I have a question, and you don't have to answer if you don't want to, but did you? 
only a fraction of the percent they wanted. And that's what I told them. It couldn't be done. Oh, man. I'm glad to know I was right. Wait. You're the old general manager? <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. You are the person who took my job from me. Oh, Mr. Burt, I am so sorry. <laughs> it's all right. I'm very happy here at the diner. I've been here since. I basically got the job almost immediately after. Besides, you didn't take my job. Honestly, corporate did. And you must be doing a bang-up job because I've heard no complaints from any of the people I know over there. Well, I'm glad to hear there hasn't been any complaints. So now that we know one another, care to hear my proposition? Sure. Um, why don't we go upstairs and get something to eat, and then we can talk over that. Sounds wonderful. My oh my, I have been told how wonderful the food is here, but I haven't tried it until now. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you liked it, Miss Amy. Uh, good thing I'm next door. If you ever get hungry, you can stop by. Oh, I shouldn't eat like this too often. If I do, I wouldn't be able to fit into my blouse. <laughs> well, if you eat here every day, you might be right. But I promise the occasional trip here won't hurt. I promise. <laughs> good to know. So, now that we've eaten, let me explain my proposal. Great, yeah. I'm all ears. So the diner has some wonderful food, as I've just found out, and with great food comes hungry customers. Okay, I follow you so far. Hungry customers can't always get a table at the diner from what I've seen around lunch and dinner time, am I right? Oh, yes, v very much so. Sometimes the waiting time can get up to an hour and a wait. So then I think you will very much like my proposal. The cinema and the diner can work together and share the load of customers. Share the load? Um, well, wh what do you mean exactly? The restaurant and the cinema hasn't been performing well recently, and the uppers are pushing to shut them down. So, we have an opening for quality food experience in our cinema cafe spots. Uh, so... So you want us to move into the cinema? I, I don't think that's possible, Miss Amy's. It's far too small for our business. Even the one upstairs, even both of those would not really be able to work because, I mean... We have a place of business here, so why would we move? Not quite, Mr. Burt. The diner would continue as usual, but there would be diner food being served and cooked in the cinema as well, on the first floor cafe and the second. Hmm. So you basically are wanting us to open a second diner. Technically, two more diners. Exactly. All right, so um, well, what's the catch exactly? No catch. We can have papers drafted to be reviewed by your people, and you can get back to us if you have any concerns. All right. Well, what about the cut? What's the cinema's cut of, uh, you know, revenue? Well, usually it's 25%, so we'll shoot around that number. Hmm. Okay. Well, this all seems really interesting. I'm, I'm actually very interested. But let me talk to the original founder about this, and I'll get back to you tomorrow, okay? Is that fair? Perfectly fair, Mr. Burt. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. How's breakfast tomorrow at 8 sound? Breakfast. Yeah, um, I work here, so I will definitely be here. So I'll see you at 8. Excellent. I look forward to hopefully working with you, Mr. Burt. This could make you and your employees a lot of money. Goodbye now. G goodbye, Miss Amy. Ah, <sighs> she's not wrong. We are talking promotions and even new employees. Technically new bosses. Two new bosses. One for the bottom and the one for the top, you know, restaurant in the cinema. It would be good for business. But is it good for the community? I don't know. No, it is. It is good for the community. It'll be, it'll be creating jobs. It will be. It'll actually be really good. But first, before I even get carried away, I need to talk to Pop and need to know what Pop thinks. His opinion's going to matter the most in this situation. If he says no, then it's a no-go. Now, before we end this episode, I do want to tell you guys about my brand new series, Minecraft Vacation. If you haven't checked it out, the very first episode has now gone live. It goes up every Tuesday. So now you'll have videos on Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. 
So that's really cool. And I hope you guys can show that series some love. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, make sure you do. And the notification bell is super important now these days. If you don't have the notification bell hit, you most likely will not see my videos. It's a very high chance that you will not see my videos without hitting that notification bell. So please consider doing it because not only does it allow you to see my content, it allows me to be able to put more content up because people are actually able to watch it. So thank you so very much. Let's get into the to be continued and make sure to click those links on that to be continued little end screen. Bye guys.